It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Chicago Bears. Evan McPherson has this one teed up, and off we go from Soldier Field. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. to Montgomery to begin the drive. And he's got some space here. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Well, there you go, this offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Play action. It's Fields. Flushed out right. Fields hit and the ball is loose. And the Bengals grab it. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. You can't admire his willingness to sacrifice his body to try and pick up the first down. And I do. But let's face it. You know his coaches are going to warn him about diving or extending for a marker for this exact reason. So much easier to have the ball knocked free when you're extended like that. So if you're going to dive, you got to make sure you secure the football, which he didn't. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to small up the ball carrier. Now on second and 13, Burrow. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They go play action with Burrow. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go three and out. They're able to avoid that there. Yeah, we talk about complimentary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover, gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them, to show respect to them. Hey, you guys got the turnover. We appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. Back to Mixon on second down. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Mixon with a first down carry. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. 
And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. A first carry for Samaj P. Ryan. And he's going to take this down close to a first down at about the Bears' 15-yard line. So third and inches, and this will be the ninth play of the drive. Again, here's P. Ryan. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. Now a timeout called for by the defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. A quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. So much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Most like that at just about every position. And sometimes, if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up at the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Burrow looking to pass. And he's got his big wide receiver complete. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. Samaj P. Ryan taking it in from two yards out. And the Bengals use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. A play fake, now Fields to throw. He'll buy some time right. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. They well, certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now a first carry for their fullback. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. As adverse as the running game has become in the NFL, there's still a place for the fullback position. And on that play, he gained nice yardage. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, they go Montgomery. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. They snap it to Fields, and he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. 
Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out, and that will force a turnover on downs. Here we go. 180. 12, 12, 12. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. And the Bears are going to get the football here at their own 23. So this defense coming up with a takeaway, and maybe that's something that can bring a little life to that sideline. Well, I don't want to say that they've been sleepwalking through this first half because that's simply not true, but you're right. We haven't seen a lot of fire from these guys, really, on either side of the ball. So maybe that's the catalyst that they needed to get them back into this game. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole. And then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off. But you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. Fields on first down. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. They talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. The give to the fullback on the dive. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. DJ Reader there on the tackle. Well, big man with ball. Met bigger man on the other side of the line. A really nice play for the defense. Second down, Montgomery. And very little there. He might have got a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. One play action, Fields. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Fields. Flush to his right. And Fields hit, and the ball is loose. again on second down. Fields. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. 
And a diving effort, but only right at the line of scrimmage. Off play action, Fields out to his left. And he's got it. Touchdown! Justin Fields fighting Darnell Mooney. And the Bears are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. And a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am <laughs> going ahead and tapping out the first half. Well, There's still time. Way. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, whether they want to let their return guy touch it. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. drive about to get going as they will take over here with a little more than 30 seconds remaining. Meanwhile, Burrow's throw here into the hands of Boyd. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Burrow will throw. Over the middle, he finds Higgins. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Burrow. He completes it to Boyd. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Final play of the half for Burrow and company. He's going to take a shot at the end zone. Why not? And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. Fields it right around the goal line. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Bengals drive about to get going. Well, the first half very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles. So as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one. And we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the Pee Wee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. And hard running's gonna get him over the 40 to the 42. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Third down, Mixon. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and 10 here. 
And he's got it across midfield and into Bear territory. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Again, it's Mixon. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Mixing up the middle. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Second and seven with our score tied at seven, but they're planning to change that soon. Only question, will they get three or six out of it? Burrow's throw taken in here by Chase. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Here's P. Ryan. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second and seven, Burrow. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. And the Bears are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. There was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. An ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down. Okay, take us to school here, Charles, on a play like that. Pretty successful RPO. What's the quarterback looking at? Basics, he's looking at the defensive end or the outside linebacker. If that player crashes down to take the running back, quarterback pulls it, runs to the outside end. Some teams, though, will read different players depending on defenses, but basically, it's that outside player. Check three, check three, check three. On the give, this is their fullback. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. The end result was brute force on brute force, but think about everything that's going on if you're playing defensive tackle. You're dealing with at least one blocker across from you, trying to deal with him, shed him, and maybe even a second one before you have to try and make the tackle on the big guy. Second down and seven. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Montgomery and give him about five as he gets this up to the 48 yard line and there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps you don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon 
The Bengals with two extra DBs. A nickel look on third. Blanketing the passing lanes. Fields now to throw. Finds Komet on the quick slant. And he will have the Bears first down as they get five there on third and two. And they're on third and short. They just tried to spread the field. It worked. And I think that the spreading of the field, the extra receivers, has really become the next in the evolutionary chain in the NFL. Go all the way back in that situation, you're handed it to the fullback, right? As we evolved, maybe you pitched it to your tailback. Now you spread the field, and you have your choices of where to throw it and complete it for a first down. On first down, Fields. Eluding the pressure right. And this will be caught by Mooney. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Montgomery back to the ground, and he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. They'll fake the handoff, now Fields. Throwing left side, it's complete. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A very solid gain of 27. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. They'll run with Montgomery. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. David Montgomery taking it in from seven yards away. And the Bears have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. Santos with the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to seven. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Bengals drive about to get going. As this offense takes the field against CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing to battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. A good pick up there, a 22. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Now it's Burrow. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Burrow. And he'll find Chase on the right side complete. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. But that incompletion reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Here we go, here we go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Here we go. It's Burrow on fourth down. A desperation heave for the end zone. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. Yes, it was a touchdown. And not just a TD, but how about a long touchdown that puts them in a great position now. And now just an extra point away from tying this thing. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Now Burrow. And he is in for the two. I still can't believe they went for it, but they've got themselves a lead here late in the ball game. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. All eyes on fields. He's got Moody. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Back to throw, Fields. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Montgomery. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 30. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So a big one coming now for Cairo Santos. This to almost certainly win the football game. And this one is no good. He missed it. And that'll keep this a one-point game. And this stadium just fell silent in a hurry. Crowd was... Yeah. You're in the presence of the realist. 